Hello everyone, welcome to Toki Doki. And today we have a very beautiful keyboard in front of us. This is no other than the latest keyboard by Melatrix. This is the Zoom 98. So before we begin, this unit and prototype was sent over to us for an honest review. Thank you, Melatrix, for sending it over. The group buy will be on October 10, and a local group buy will be hosted by Zion Studios as well here in the Philippines, so do stay tuned for that. This review is not going to be a detailed build guide. I will give you a sound test at the end of the video, but this review will focus more on my thoughts and opinion on who this keyboard is for and what makes this keyboard so awesome. Do check out other local content creators. You have RX003, Cavite Tech, Merkibs, and Saclane Records, and other guys also reviewing this keyboard. I've watched and seen Merkibs' video, very good and detailed build guide. So if you're onto that, do check it out and you'll see how to build this keyboard, which is not really difficult to build to begin with. Very similar to the Zoom 75, which I also have a detailed video on. I'll put the link on the description, all right? Why is this keyboard uh, very special? Because simply like the Zoom 75, it's so good. The Zoom 75 right there sitting in my desk is one of my favorite mechanical keyboards to date as I feel that it has everything that I'm wanting for in terms of aesthetics, in terms of typing feel, in terms of customizability, and the premiumness at this level of price point. Really, really good. The Zoom 98 takes it a bit higher with some improvement in aesthetic design. And that's really something to say for a 98% layout keyboard. Because as you all know, for those of you watching the channel, I am really not a fan of full-size keyboards, 98% layout, those with numpads and the like. And it's surprising that this keyboard has been on my desk for the past few days after building it because this is, I think, the first keyboard that stayed on my desk with such layout because I really prefer smaller layouts. And again, that means that this keyboard is so good. It's that good. All right, so a quick rundown on what you'll expect to see. Drop over Melatrix website and you'll see the details on the Zoom 98. Lots of colorway, lots of colorway available from their special edition to their essential edition. And mind you, the special edition that I had for the Zoom 75 was so good. It had golden outlines here and there, which made it so premium. For this one, I got the Essential Edition, the cool gray one, and I was expecting it to be a little bit of a downgrade from the Special Edition. And was I wrong? Was I wrong? The finish of the Zoom 98, even on the Essential Edition, not the SE version, is so good. The finish is so good. I love the finish. I love the texture. I love how it feels. It's amazing. The colorway, the cool gray colorway, really good. The external weight on the back is also premium. You have a lot of options as well flashed here on your screen. And I love that they kind of went a little bit more minimalistic on this one. So, oops, pardon that. The rubber feet is off. Don't worry, we were assured by Melatrix that on the um, group by version, the public version that will be released, these rubber feet will have a perfect fit, okay? On the back end of the board, I, I, I really like how it's more simple. Um, coming from the Zoom 75, which had a mirror finish, this one, very clean looking. I love the logo. I love the weight. Really nice. All right. Um, and the highlight, the highlight of it all for me is this side glare, side flare, whatchamacallit, whatever. Um, this for me elevated the design and aesthetics of the keyboard and it brings this Zoom 98 
a level higher, at least for my taste, a level higher than the Zoom 75. It really does look nice. It looks nice. Um, it, it gave it a little bit more curves and ergonomic design. I love it. I simply, simply love this flare. So, oh my God, this thing is heavy. So yeah, Mer keeps uh, mentioned that because of that side flare and curvature, it's easier to lift and you would need this grip for a keyboard this heavy. So really nice, really nice addition. So you have two PCB versions. You have a tri-mode version and a wired version. Okay, with a two key module. This one is the tri-mode version. So it has a Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz connectivity and it comes with your screen module. So if you're to ask me, I'd be getting this if you're going to order the group buy because I really love the screen. It looks really nice and unique. Do take note that you do have other options. You can choose the knob, the two keys module and the badge module, which this review unit came in. So in the next few days, I'll be swapping it out to test and see which looks better but for today for now the screen and the lcd really looks nice all right um different badges to choose from a lot of designs a lot of knob options as well so we know that Melatrix and the zoom lineup is very versatile when it comes to layout and this one is no exception you can have split space bar backspace left shift and right shift step caps lock iso and ansi enter key um but do take note that unfortunately which saddened me a bit there's no option for the 7U spacebar. I really love the 7U spacebar, guys. But uh, 6.5 comes with this one. Not a deal breaker, but could have been better with the 7U. Comes in with the WS stabilizers version 3.1. Really good. Just had to balance out some of the stabilizers. Added lube. And after that, ah, perfect. Perfect stabilizers. All of the foams included. As usual, the PCB has this flex cuts the plate has this flex cuts but the good news is taping out those flex cuts on the pcb solves the problem of hollowness or dull sounding and makes this keyboard fairly good sounding even without the pe foam all right so this is the sound profile without the pe foam if you want it to be livelier more foamy more marbly then just slap on that pe foam and you're good to go one of the things that i really love with the zoom 75 lineup and above is that it's very versatile so you can run this with or without the foams and it will sound great right now here's the sound test with it with the bottom foam the plate foam and no pe foam There you have it. Really nice sounding, isn't it? Right? Considering there's not even a P foam on them, I simply just taped out the flex cuts. I love it. Why did I put the lowercase foam, which I usually don't do? Because this thing is again a bounce, bouncy, bouncy trampoline ish typing feel. And I felt that it was too bouncy without the lowercase foam. So I placed it in there to reduce the bounce a bit. All right. So. Uh, having said those thoughts and opinions on this keyboard, who is this keyboard for? Finally, finally, for guys wanting a numpad, um, this one is an easy recommendation. An easy recommendation. The Zoom 75. If I were to look for a full size 98% keyboard, this will be my end game keyboard for 2023, probably. Ah, super good, super good. Uh, Melatrix, Wuche Studios, Zoom lineup, you did it again, you did it again, the Zoom 75 was an absolute winner, 
this one is even better still can't get over that side flare it really looks nice it really looks nice all right so do join the group by if you're considering getting a full-size layout keyboard do not hesitate you will not regret it zoom 98 mm, mm, perfection love it love it so much all right thank you guys and i hope you find this review useful i hope to see you in the next video